Hello, I've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. Hey, Evan here with the Prairie State Patriots. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do some custom DIY epoxy resin pistol grips. Like on my Tank Commander 1911 here. I started off making a mold of these grips that came with it and just kind of went from there. I had some of this epoxy stuff laying around from other projects. So today we're going to show you exactly uh, the process that I used to go through this. First thing you'll need is a uh, mold making kit. This makes a mold out of silicone. But to use that, first you have to construct a mold box. Now I took some 1911 grips here and just hot glued them down to a glass pane from a picture frame. Use some scrap styrofoam to make a box around that and that's how we will make the mold that we'll use to pour our epoxy resin. It's just nothing but hot glue and some glass and styrofoam. But actually, for your resin, you will need, um, of course, your epoxy resin that comes all in a single kit. And to make them cool, I like using alcohol-based inks. Um, you may notice on Dress Bummy, this will stain your clothes, so definitely wear old clothes when you do this. You don't want to ruin your nice uh, work pants. So all of these resins pour in a one-to-one -one ratio, 50-50. And I got a kitchen scale that I use to measure by weight to make sure I get it as accurate as possible. Now for 1911 grips, it takes about 30 grams total of resin to uh, actually pour the grips. But since we're doing the mold, we're just going to use the rest of this kit and just make sure that we pour it in an even ratio. Make sure I got some paper towels handy because this is messy. So you have your part A. You really can't use too much when you're pouring your mold because anything extra is just going to be thicker silicone. It'll be more durable anyway. Pour it out here. Looks like that's about 89 grams of part A. Let's see if we got enough room in the cup. You want to go nice and slow. You really don't want air bubbles. 81, 82. Seven grams, eighty-eight grams. You should do it. Take a standard popsicle stick to stir. You want to stir this for at least 60 seconds, nice and slow. Like I said, you don't want air bubbles. I'll start my stopwatch. You got to make sure to stir all the way to the bottom of the cup. This has to be mixed thoroughly, otherwise it won't set. So through the power of video editing, we might be able to fast forward this part. minute has elapsed. A couple more stirs. Now as soon as this is mixed the uh, clock is counting down because this sets in 30 minutes. The regular actual resin takes about 24 hours to set up to where it can be handled. But this stuff is fast. So once you have it mixed, you just pour in slowly and gently from one corner. Make 
make sure you get down in all the screw holes for the grips. And it looks like we'll have plenty. just like so. And this will dry into a moldable soft silicone that you'll use for actual hard resin. Now I am quite the novice with this stuff. I've only been playing with it for about a week now, but I've got some awesome examples here of some grips that came out pretty cool. This is actually my very first attempt with this red and black. Look at some better shots of these two. Uh, I did the same thing in green and black. Got some silver, and I was just playing around with other smaller molds to see what I can come up with. Like I said, we'll get better shots of that cut in. But uh, yeah, so now we just gotta wait about 30 minutes so we can demold this and uh, actually use it to cast some epoxy. It's been about an hour. Let it set for a little longer. It's very humid here. It took some time to stiffen up, but we're now going to remove the styrofoam and take our mold out of the mold box. This is why I like doing it on a glass pane because it's a lot easier to just break apart. If you use enough hot glue, it's gonna be stiff to break apart, but we'll get there. You can trim any excess material with an X-Acto knife. You cut this grip out. Alright, I think we're actually looking pretty good. I'm just going to clean up the edges. So to minimize the cleaning, you really want to make sure your grips are pressed down hard. It seems like I could have pressed them down a little bit better, but that's fine. The main mold is pretty clean. It's got the texture and the pattern of the grips real well. And just trim off the excess. It's okay to have a little bit of overhang, that's how you know you filled your mold. But especially around these uh, grip screw areas, you want that to be easy to pull off when you're removing your uh, finished resin. Just like to trim those. And this silicone is just real easy to cut. Just gotta do one, then the other. Now the silicone is ready to handle within 30 to 60 minutes. It takes, uh, save time, about 24 hours before it's fully cured, but it's good enough to pour your epoxy pretty quick. They'll both harden individually at the same time. We're just gonna make sure we got a decent bit trimmed.
Make sure there's no styrofoam left over in your mold. It's not trimmed super pretty, but it doesn't need to be because it actually has that three-dimensional shape set down in there. So it should be ready to use. I'm going to use two colors, red and black, so I'm going to use two different mixing cups. I said it takes about 30 grams of uh, resin to fill these grips. I'm going to shoot for a little bit more than that. It's easier to have too much than too little. So once again, we're going to use the kitchen scale and just weigh it out. I'm going to try to put about 9 grams of each mixture. <laughs> Is it good? Yeah. Now this actual resin epoxy, um, it takes 24 hours to cure, so you have a lot longer time to work with it as opposed to, as opposed to the actual mold mix. So you can really take your time measuring it and your colors right. So I'll have to mix each of these for 60 seconds. Helps have a stopwatch. And it's nice and easy. You don't want a whole lot of air bubbles. You mix the two epoxy compounds together before you add your dye. When adding your dye, just a couple drops will do. Just keep adding drops until it's to the depth of color that you want. And then just keep mixing. for a deeper red here. Now the next step isn't a hundred percent Required, but it helps to hit this with a heat gun that'll loosen up any air bubbles 
It'll also thin the uh, mixture and make it easier to pour. I'm going to attempt to pour the black from the bottom of the grips to meet the red at the top. Just want to do these simultaneously. And just fill until your resin hits that overhang. Swap sides. And do the same thing. Hit it with a heat gun one more time to really push that resin into all the texture. And that's really all there is to it. You'll come back and I like to wait at least 22 hours of full curing is about 24. So we'll come back tomorrow and we will see how they turn out. Welcome back. It's been about 24 hours. We are going to demold our grips and see how they turned out. Let's pop right out. Oh man, as you can see, those came out pretty slick. Our mold to the side. Go ahead and get one installed here. And it fits like a glove. So if you're like me and you have an old style GI 1911, it's a custom homemade grips, and a modern 10 round magazine completely changes the appearance of this pistol. If you like this instructional video, give us a thumbs up. Questions, comments, concerns, leave them at the bottom. As always, come back next time.